Hello and Assalamu Alaikum welcome to my channel in this video we are going to study about viruses so what is viruses actually uh, if we talk about viruses then I have to tell you that today we are going to study about our worst enemy these are the worst enemies of human or animal or any other organism and the fact is they are also not living by themselves so they are not living and they are enemies of all non-living things they have some living material while the other things are not that much living that's why they are not uh, considered as a living cellular material so let's get started what's in our books so first of all we studied about the characteristics of the viruses <clears throat> the book states that they are non-cellular parasitic entities they live and reproduce inside the host cell so uh, which means that when they enter the host cell what's their uh, motive their motive is that they have to reproduce they have to make their daughter cells and everyone love their sons likewise they might be loving their sons but there is no they do not have brain of course but uh, it's just uh, I'm just trying to explain that uh, it, it doesn't mean they want kids and you allow them to get inside you so they just want to reproduce themselves and create more numbers of themselves that's why they entered the hostel some of them will hurt you while making their copies some of them will not hurt you as well they range from 20 nm to 250 nm in size they come in different sizes some are bigger some are smaller viruses are virulent and destroy the host cell so uh, over here they are virulent or they may, may not be virulent they uh, may just uh, they destroy the cell while uh, getting their food getting work from them start making their own copies by uh, using the host cell so in that case we can consider both of them to be virulent and destroy the host cell some of them just burst them while some are just going to uh, take help from them to make copies and that help is going to destroy from inside or make cell unable to do its uh, do or perform its own activities viruses may be enveloped or non enveloped AIDS is caused by HIV HIV is a virus which uh, cause AIDS which is a very popular disease and well known well known uh, which has to be said auto deficiency syndrome so it just destroy our immune system which is a system of the body to prevent us from uh, bacteria and viruses which are harmful or anything which is harmful it always contain a protein coat and a nucleic acid it has a nucleic acid and a protein coat coat uh, and these things are the living material the head of the viruses have the living material which, uh, in which they have DNA or RNA any one of them is going to be inside this what is this virus okay structure let's talk about the structure of these tiny little bastards I mean so uh, yeah, I, I do not have to uh, say that sort of word but I don't know how it comes out it comes out from my heart because they are the worst enemy of the human body so these tiny little things which are making us feel uh, worse or feel uh, what what should I say feel ill feel not well and uh, they, they these are the reasons for most many of the death uh, so uh, they are very harmful for us let's talk about more about them that they have a head they have a nucleic acid inside them and which contain DNA or RNA uh, they can have any one of them uh, they have a collar body which is in between just like a collar I have over here but their collar is kind of different shape and after that we have sheath which is a long elongated tube just like we have our stomach they have small elongated stick like uh, sheath and after that we have base plate there is another plate which helps them join with their legs uh, if I consider our body uh, then we have uh, the pelvic girdle instead of the base plate after that we have our tail fibers 
instead of tail fiber human body have legs and the viruses have many tail fibers many small legs just like an insect after that we have spikes beside uh, be, uh, beside not beside below the uh, base plate we have small spikes which are pointed sticks and these sticks helps in injecting various substances inside the host cell and perform different activities inside the host cell which we will be studying later in other topics right now uh, let's see what's the text written written over here uh, spheres or golf balls or rod shaped like tadpoles and maybe polyhedral they can be polyhedral means they have many heads spherical or maybe golf ball shaped or rod shaped just like a uh, bacteria or maybe they are just tadpoles swimming in the water <clears throat> then we have capsid is made up of protein subunits called capsomeres now they have this envelope and sometimes they have capsids which are made up of capsomeres so uh, this uh, this is something which is protein uh, so we just named it differently that's why it's written over here and it's kind of important for the bcq point of view that if they may ask the capsid of viruses are made up of which substance or uh, then you can say protein or if they ask the name of that protein then it's capsomere some viruses have accessory structures called viral envelope that help them infect their host accessory they have they may have some accessory modification according to their use and according to the method of attacking to the host cell they are membranous cloaking their capsids and bacteriophages have tail piece with tail fibers so they have tail piece with their tail fibers like they have uh, two uh, we can say two joints uh, this is what this line right tell you bacteriophage is named for the complex viruses so uh, don't think that's a bacteria if, if you hear about bacteriophage phage actually is a name for viruses while bacteria here denotes that these viruses uh, attack bacterial cells and is it is a name for the complex virus these viruses are the most advanced viruses in the whole classification of viruses which we are going to study right now classification morphologically uh, if we look at the thing from the face we have three types three classification number one rod shape they have the viruses having a rod shape are included in that the spherical the viruses in having a spherical shape which is circular like like earth are going to be add, added into this classification and some are like tadpoles so bacteriophage are the tadpole viruses polio viruses are the spherical one and tmv viruses tm viruses are rod shape after it we have classification on basis of nucleic acid now the classification of the viruses this one is going to be the advanced classification which is on there may be functional basis and uh, the basis of uh, on the basis of the nucleic acid they have inside their head they may have RNA they may have DNA they may have double helix DNA they may have double helix RNA or they may have a long DNA they may have a short DNA they may have a long RNA or long DNA that's how they are classified let's study they are there are DNA and RNA viruses unenveloped plus strand RNA viruses so so, so unenveloped denote that the genome or RNA inside their head is not enclosed it's not enclosed it's open which means it will be having uh, it will be surrounded by the capsid they are called plus strand they have a plus strand that's why they are known as plus strand and they directly uh, attack on the mRNA and attaches to their ribosomes and as we know ribosome plays an important role in the translation of protein uh, and that's where it attack because its whole uh, we can say it, its whole goal is to just make his own genome which is inside its capsid so it translate its own genome and start making its own bodies 
as we know the viruses have only one goal to do inside the host cell that's the reproduction so they act directly as mrna as a messenger rna uh, which you know in the process of transcription dna forms are uh, mrna which uh, we we have been studying or we will be studying later maybe yeah we, uh, in in mcat we will be studying later but from previous classes you may remember that we have two steps of the manufacturing or the production of protein inside a cell transcription and then translation so this uh, here we were talking about the translation envelope plus strand rna viruses cause hepatitis a and hepatitis c viruses are the envelope plus strand viruses while uh, the unenveloped plus strand rna viruses causes polio virus polio or rhino they contain envelope instead of capsid so what's the basic difference the one we studied up there are unenveloped the down there are enveloped while both are plus stranded rna viruses after that we have uh, minus strand rna viruses as i told you there will be some short rna so this one is a short rna minus denotes a smaller rna which is named as a complementary RNA so the book call it complementary RNA but I'm calling it a smaller RNA which we can denote with the minus so it will be easier to remember while they are also enveloped 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 three of them are RNA viruses and the minus one is the complementary one plus strand plus strand are this similar Retroviruses, a virus that is replicated in a host cell via the enzyme reverse uh, transcriptase to produce DNA from its RNA. So it produces DNA from its RNA and the method of the production is very different in this one which is going to be the reverse transcriptase. Uh, the method of transcription of the uh, previous RNA viruses was that they will hijack the system of transcription which is the ribosome ribosome make a subunit for the transcription or oh, translation not transcription transcription occurs inside the nucleus okay uh, let's move ahead double strand rna viruses so as i told you double helix structure can be formed it's not double helix but it has double stranded which is mentioned over here they may be double helical but I have no idea about that I'm just discussing what's inside the book of syntax board so double strand RNA viruses Rio viruses are the example and they are double stranded RNA viruses they have two strands small genome DNA viruses so here comes DNA virus finally all this uh, all the viruses we have studied are RNA this one is going to be DNA small genome DNA viruses small genome means it is a very small DNA virus the virus is not small but the uh, DNA is small that's why here we have written the name as small genome DNA not small DNA viruses its genome DNA viruses so the genome is small while the virus is of regular size so causes hepatitis and warts have single stranded DNA and the DNA is single stranded not double stranded medium and large genome genome DNA viruses they are medium they may be medium or they may be large and herpes viruses are their example they cause herpes shingles they cause cancer they cause boxes in human beings and every one of them is very da dangerous for us bacteriophage a long DNA this is the only uh, bacteria bac sorry not bacteria this is the only virus which have the most advanced DNA that's why it's written very specifically and it has a different class and thankfully or we can say fortunately they are affecting bacteria they are not affecting us alhamdulillah a long DNA molecule is coiled within the head there is a very very long DNA coiled inside their head just like a DNA enclosed inside our nucleus so here the lecture of 
viruses ants in which we studied characteristic structure and the classification in very detail and thank you so much for watching and hope it helped you like subscribe and share push that subscribe button push the uh, push the base plate of this uh, bacterial phage over here so this is the end of this video thank you for watching and allah peace